Hi, this is Sonia with RC Solutions, and today I want to show you how to insert um, a photo into the photo frame templates. And this is a freebie that's on my blog on Multimedia Crafts Digital Designs. And um, the software that I'm using is uh, Photoshop CC 2020, and I'm doing this on a Mac Pro. And some of my previous videos I was using Windows. So, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm over here in Photoshop and I've already got a file that I'm going to use um, opened up. I'm just going to go ahead and add it on here. This is the photo that I'm going to insert. So I'm going to hit, go ahead and open up the file that I got. File open. And it's a blog freebie that I'm using. Uh, so you can use your PNG file or the PSD file. I'm going to start out with the PNG file. It has a transparent background. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, and I'm going to come back over here to the photo that I'm using. And it, the layer is already unlocked, but if it isn't, um, make sure you unlock it. And you can do that by hitting this little over here on the lock panel, on the, on the layers panel, on, on the lock. Just click that. So you can go to File, you know, Edit, Copy, or you, you can use your keyboard shortcut, Command C, and copy your photo. Then we're going to come back over here to the photo frame, and um, I'm going to create a new layer. And I did that by just over here on the bottom, this little plus sign. I just clicked it and then I'm going to put this on the bottom. And then I'm going to hit Command B for paste. And I'm just going to delete this other layer. Delete. There's other ways you can do it, but this is how I'm doing it. And I'm going to put this photo into the smaller the left size frame. So I'm going to hit Command T, which is, uh, or you can go to Edit Transform or Free Transform. And I'm going to grab uh, one of these little handles and drag it. And I'm just going to position this photo to where it shows within the frame. And then I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm just going to make a copy of this, which is Command J. <clears throat> so Command J. And then I have two pictures. So I'm going to hit Command T or Control T on a, a Windows computer. And I'm going to drag this photo over here. resize it but I'm going to make sure it's on the back layer so I just slid it to the back and then I'm just going to make a copy of it again which is command uh, J I'm going to open up my styles. If your styles aren't already open, come over here to um, Window and make sure that the check mark is beside the word Styles. And I have, and I got my Photoshop styles from Pixel Scrapper, and um, I'll have a link in the description for where you get all this stuff. So I'm going to open these up. And the style that I'm using, it's like a vintage kind of look. So I'm going to rasterize this layer. I 
up to my blending options. Rasterize layer. And if you're using a PC, you can right click and it'll, the blending options will come up. But on my Mac, at the top, I'm just like right clicking the rasterize layer. And then I'm just going to do an overlay. Well, It just, it kind of just gives the photo like a vintage sort of look to it. And that's one of the ways that you can do your, um, add your inserts, insert your photos. Um, and then I want to show you the other file. Let me go ahead and save this one. I'm just going to save this as KHA Photo Frame Template or Temp. And I want this to be a JPEG file. Save. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. But I'm gonna keep this photo open. I'm gonna open up the PSD file, which has a bunch of layers in them. Okay, so I'm opening up the PSD file. Okay, now you'll notice that this one doesn't have a transparent background because the way I'm gonna add the photos to this is I'm gonna use the clip and mask. Um, Function. So, if you come over here to your layers panel, you'll see you have the big back photo, clip and mask, and then you have your small front photo. <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm already on the big back photo, clip and mask, so I'm just going to insert um, Command V. And then um, on the layer that I just got finished inserting the photo picture, you want to right click on a, on a Windows or, or right click to, to get to your blending options. And you're going to click Create Clipping Mask. And what this is going to do is it's going to clip your photo to that very same size um, frame, the blue frame. And I'm just, I hit Command T and I'm just going to adjust the size. to my styles and I'm choosing a style and then I'm just going to go back to the blending options and I'm going to rasterize that layer style and then over here where it says normal click on it color and then what I'll do is I'm just going to Combine all three layers: the the, um, the style layer, the original photo, and then the the back photo clip and mask layer. And to do that, with this layer already highlighted, you're going to go down to the, the the back photo clip and mask layer, and on your keyboard hit Shift, click, and it'll highlight all three layers. And then you want to right click. You want to merge all three layers together. Merge layers. 
So now we're going to go to the small, um, the front, the photo clipping mask, and we're going to hit Command V, which puts that same picture in there. And we're going to go also do, we're going to um, create a clipping mask for this as well. Create a clipping mask. And then we're just going to resize this. So Command T or Control T. and hit enter okay and then you can go ahead and um, with this layer already highlighted you're gonna hit shift and then you're gonna click the, the front photo clip the mask layer and we're going to merge these layers together. And now we have our photos. And you can add text and stuff like that in the Photoshop um, files where it says background elements. If you if you click the the eye icon, it, it shows you what that layer is. Then if you come down here to background and you hit this little um, bracket, or not bracket, but this little symbol right here, it opens up to show you all the different things that are in this layer, which is your background. So I'm just going to close that back. And you can, like I said, you can add text or anything to it. So I'm clicking on this little blue right here. And I'm come over here to T for uh, on the tools panel, and I want a horizontal type. And at the top, I'm just going to use I'm going to change the color to white. Click OK, and then I'm going to click on this little blue area, and you can see. Um, I don't like that font. It, you can choose whatever font you want, but I don't like this particular one. That's Papyrus, or whatever, I can't pronounce that. Anyway, I want to change it to uh, Myriad Pro, and I'm going to change the size from 30 down to 18, and I'm just going to put um, Happy Days. Mark. And there you have it. And it will. I'm going to try to set it. Put that right there. And you can add extra uh, clip art, whatever you want. But that's basically it. So I hope you liked this video and I hope it was helpful. And if you did, please comment, like, share, follow, um, and check out my blog, my Facebook, Instagram, and um, Tumblr. And I'll have links down in the description to all of those. And thanks for watching.